On the twelfth night of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking. Ooh, that's a big cow. Seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying. Five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. That song was shit. Alright, hello, welcome to more Scribble Knots Unlimited, the game in which I get to be as creative as possible. As you just saw by that introduction song, wasn't that lovely singing? Dearie me, what's up Timmy? Why are you sad? This playground is lame and needs some more interesting attractions. Okay Timmy, I'll get you something to ride on. Oh no, that sounded really bad. No! Get your mind out the gutter audience, how dare you. Sure, why not? A rideable sausage. What, do, you want, do you want a rideable sausage? Timmy, get off that sausage! Deary me, <laughs> oh my god, this is going to definitely get demonetized. As always, I need a companion, so who will my companion be this week? Of course, it's Shrek, there we go, can I ride on you Shrek? Yes I can, I've got my own Shrek. I'm so bored, give me something to entertain myself, okay then. Would you like a dead, funny, tiny donkey? Will that cheer you up? Oh, he loved it. Oh dear, why are you upset? I wish he'd give me something to make me feel better. But he's got a donkey. Give her the donkey, you selfish man. Okay then, what do you actually want then? How about some poisoned chocolate? Will that cheer you up? There we go. Oh, that worked. She enjoyed her poisoned chocolate. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, he's still happy that he died. Oh, you're still happy as well. Oh, that's a lovely relationship. Oh no, I'm in charge of cooking. What could possibly go wrong? Where's my Shrek gone as well? How dare you? Right, what do you want from Cafe Classic? Give ingredients to the chef to make different dishes. Begin by adding three components of a pizza. Well, we all know what goes in pizza. Well, what goes on pizza, I should say. A pineapple, of course. Right, do I put it on the table? Okay, yeah, put it on the table, then he puts it in the cooker. Lovely, this will add a little sweetness to the pizza. It sure will. What else? Now, when I make pizza at home, I usually add edible cyanide. Lovely, there we go. Uh, th no, you're not meant to eat the edible cyanide. That's meant to go in the pizza, you greedy bitch. What about a dead cat? Will that go in the pizza? Put the dead cat in the pizza. Come on. The dead cat in the pizza. Right, so we've got pineapple. We might as well add some chocolate spread. Lovely. Put that in the pizza. Lovely. Chocolate spread and pineapple pizza. This will help the pizza crust. What? A chocolate spread pizza crust? That's a bit mad. In the final ingredient, a prawn. There we go. Put that in the pizza. Prawn, chocolate spread and pineapple. Yum, yum, yum. Meat makes for a great topping indeed. The pizza now needs a secret ingredient. Ooh, something special. Some cyanide, please put the cyanide in. There we go, that'll make the perfect pizza. That pizza looks delicious. Oh yes, my chocolate spread, pineapple, prawn and cyanide pizza. With all the other stuff I tried to put in. I put a dead cat and a sniper rifle in, but it didn't work. Now we'll bake a phoenix for the witch. The phoenix? Oh, what's wrong with you? Magical bird. Right then, something magical. Dad, you can't have eyeballs, why not? Why can't you have eyeball? No, oh, I can have eyeball? Do I want to put an eyeball in this? Sure. Oh my god! I can put eyeballs? No, you've got to put the eyeball in the... 
that worked. Okay, then why not? You added a regenerative source to the phoenix. Lovely eyeball. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, ingredient number two. A magical toenail. Will that work? Go on, get the magical toenail. Apparently that worked. What a lovely meal we're making. A good source of magical power indeed. A lovely worm. Will that go in? Put the worm in. I'll put it in anyway. How about a fiery wasp? Will that go in? Oh, apparently a fiery wasp will go in. <laughs> Okay, lovely. Add a fiery component to the phoenix, it sure will. A lovely fiery wasp. Oh, there we go. What a lovely meal. We baked a phoenix, thought it still looks a little raw. Yeah, go eat, go eat your phoenix. Oh, no, it's now cooked. Oh, she just ate the whole thing, the greedy bitch. Looks like these things have a way of working themselves out, indeed. Right, what do you want? Our last customer wants us to bake a motorcycle. Place free green. Hold on. I'm sorry. What? Our last customer wants us to bake a motor. You want to eat a motorcycle. Right. Well, that's just mad now, isn't it? I've been playing this game very seriously, but no. We're baking a motorcycle, apparently. Right. Feed the hungry guests. More cooking, are you sure? After those delicious meals I just made. This restaurant has very different customers. Feed the schoolboy something to help him grow. How about some lovely healthy fries? Will that help you grow? There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, what a lovely healthy meal. This isn't what I wanted, but it's so good I can't stop eating. You know, that's just the same as McDonald's french fries. They're not what you want. But they're very addictive. This vampire wants to try something new. Give him something to quench his thirst. Okay, then. How about a virgin? Can I create a virgin? <laughs> I've just created a virgin. Okay. Have your virgin. <laughs> You're not made to carry her. Drop the virgin. How about a blood-soaked virgin? No, that won't work. <laughs> a, a bacon... A, a bacon-soaked virgin. <laughs> that help? No, you don't want your bacon-soaked virgin. Well, she's off. Why didn't you eat your bacon-soaked virgin? How about some lovely mayonnaise? That's just like blood, isn't it? There we go. He enjoyed his mayonnaise. He ate the whole jar. What a greedy bastard. That was delicious. I'm not sure mayonnaise is delicious, but you're welcome. A robot? The robot is here for an upgrade. Feel it something a robot might eat. Would you like an edible virgin? Yes, you would like an edible virgin. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, okay, that didn't, didn't fill you up. Bloody hell. What about a metal cat? Will that work? Oh, you enjoyed your metal cat. Lovely. That solved that problem. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the restaurant. Hold on, another one. The cannibal has shown up for the special. Write something for the cannibal to dine on. Bloody hell, the actual answer is just a human being. Would you like a president? Lovely. Oh, a female president. Theory V, this is very progressive. That was just what I needed. Thank you very much for eating the president. What's going on, Gran? What's your problem? Oops, I forgot to fill the box of a gift. Your poor grandchild. Don't worry, I've got the perfect gift for her. A lovely diseased rat. There we go. That will go in the box. There we go. Happy birthday, child. Oh, what a lovely birthday. That was a good birthday surprise. The billboard needs to show what we sell here. All righty then. There we go. It sells drugs. We're looking for a suitable individual to join our club. Oh, can I join your club? How about Homer? Will he be in your club? No! No, that's scared of Homer. Why is Homer scary? Why can't Homer... Oh, is it no Homer's club? Oh, no. Well, go and dustbin, Homer. Can my dad join your club, then? There we go, Dad. No, that's scared of Dad as well. I've got a tiny Loch Ness monster. Can he join the club? There we go. Lovely. Tiny Loch Ness monster worked. 
I'm trapped in the fr- Well, get out the freezer, you silly man. Why is there a badger in the- Why is there a badger in the freezer? <laughs> what the hell? Why are you freezing badgers? A lovely tiny volcano. Will that warm you up? Lovely. Oh, that warmed you up. Lovely. And that cooked the badger as well. Oh, he's very happy. It, oh, it made some cake. These bugs are endless. Help me keep them away. Well, I know how to keep away bugs. With the truth. There we go. Well, that will keep away the bugs. Have your fortnight. He 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 he. How naughty. Help the skull earn his merit badge. First, give him a tool to carve this log. I know how to help here. Well, this should help a plastic knife. There we go. Yeah, oh, well done. That works. Bloody hell, he's lethal with that plastic knife. Fine, safety is next. Give the scout something to put the dummy out. A bottle of piss. Will that work? No, you, you didn't let me have a piss. Why not? A bottle of pie. Bottom. Bottom pie. <laughs> I've made a bottom pie, apparently. Have your bottom pie. <laughs> I don't even know. What the hell is a bottom pie? Can I have a silly pie? Oh no, I've made a silly pie. <laughs> I'm just making pies. A polite pie. Oh. <laughs> I've made a polite pie. <laughs> Why am I just making pies? Dad pie. Can I make a... I can't make dad pie. Why not? What a hose. Surely that will work. Yay, that worked. <laughs> I mean, he sprayed it nowhere near the actual dummy. Now that the fire is out, give the scout something to fix the dummy's wounds. Okay, so you need to protect your eyes. Have some bacon-covered glasses. Will that help? There we go. Very cool. Now it's time for target practice. Give the scout a weapon to shoot the target. Oh, hell yeah. I actually get to give him a weapon. We can't be being too naughty now. Have a water pistol. Using real, real guns is very naughty. Lovely. Oh, look at that family-friendly PG gun. What the hell did you just shoot down? Did you just shoot down a satellite? Bloody hell. Remember at the Scouts when you get to shoot down a satellite? I remember my days in the Scouts. But yes, I think that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, and goodbye.